Hey everybody, another one of our intermediate steps called Summi. This one is similar to Tamal in leg movement, but we're going to add a little bit of complexity to the arm movement. Again, not going just one, two, but we're going to have a one, two, three, four beat count like we did in Morchal, even though it's within a four beat parameter. Okay, so with our legs, we're going to be very similar to Tamal, like I said, except instead of bringing our knees up and forward like this, we're just going to bring our knee back. You don't have to bring it across like you would in Fasla, just simply here and here. And we're going to hop between each one of the beats just like we normally would in single tamal. So let's just try those feet real quick. Everybody ready? All right. There is one little thing, though. When we're bringing our foot back on the third beat, we're actually going to go here, here, and take a little bit of a step back with our right leg and then bring it right back up to our right leg here. Okay, you'll see what I mean. It's no change in movement. It's just moving back slightly and then moving back forward. Let's go, guys. On me. Three, two, one. Left leg. We're going to go one, two. Step a little bit back and four. One, two. A little bit back and four. Remember to keep your legs back. There you go. One more time. One, two. A little bit of a dip and back. Now, if you feel like you've got that movement and you want to get a little bit more advanced, try and step back even further. Try and get a real dip with your body. It's going to not change the way you're doing the step at all, but it's going to give you some movement and you're going to feel a little bit more of a stretch. The upper body, as I said, is a little bit more complex than the mom. I'm going to bring our hands together just like this with our left hand a little higher. And we're going to start from our side at a 45 degree angle. We're going to go clap, clap, clap. And then on the fourth beat, as we're going back right there on that third and fourth beat, we're going to bring our hands out together with our palms facing the audience at our ear levels and go three and complete four. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Though the count here is one, two, three, three, four. It's within a four beat parameter, even though you're clapping three times. Okay? Let's try that, everybody. Putting it all together, calling it summy. And remember, when you make that dip, you're going to use your chest and your shoulders like you always do in Bhangra. Here we go. Summy on me. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three. Back. One, two. There you go. Remember, either way I count it, it's the same four beat count. Even if I go one, two, three, it's still just four beats. One, two, three. Good. One more time. Excellent job. That's four beats, but you make sure you clap three times. Don't get confused. All right. Now I think we're ready to try that with some music. It's a nice and slow step. So as you get better, make that dip bigger. Let's go, DJ. Here we go. Whew. Roll it out, guys. Here we go. In three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. Great job, everybody. Make sure you're smiling. No frowny faces. Notice that my head is always staying straight and I'm turning just to my torso. Good. This is going to get to that oblique stretch. Excellent job. As you get more advanced, get those little shoulder shakes to match the one, two, three. You're doing a great job. Let's go. Turn it up the energy, guys. Let's get off the ground. Excellent. There you go. You're doing awesome. Good. Even if it's nice and slow, go all out. We're going to stop here, guys. Excellent job. That was Summy. There's a little bit of a break from some of the harder moves we've done, but it's still graceful. You still get a great dip and it stretches out your body. Keep it up. You're doing awesome. Way to go.